I didn't have to watch it. <sighs> but I wanted another movie for the year. It was directed by the Speed Brothers. Predestination was my favorite movie of 2015, or one of them, if I'm correct. It was second best. And I was drawn to the Jigsaw movies, even though they're, they've only really been good since the first one. So why, why, why did I watch it? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to figure that out. All right. So it's shot well, but it's still stupid as shit. I'm not going to review the movie. I'm just going to review the absolute absurdity and the stupidity of the ending. So after every single saw cliche has been come down, we obviously know that Logan is the killer or he's Jigsaw because we've already gotten the red herring with the cop. We've already gotten the maybe protege with the girl, but obviously it's Logan because everything's adding up to it being him, right? So we find out it's him and he's talking to the cop who's basically, he, he's done a bunch of bad shit. He's let a lot of people go. He's a fucking terrible detective. He's a giant walking fucking cliche. He should die just for that reason. But then what he says is that Jigsaw killed these five people originally. They were his first. And what we've been watching, obviously that was another thing too. All the people we were watching die, that's clearly something that happened in the past. However, we were, I was trying to trying to wonder the believability of this after Black Dude got chopped up into pieces and somehow he's jangling in the closet, which was ridiculous. So when it comes to the reveal, it turns out that he is just replicating a trap system that Jigsaw did to him 10 years ago and Jigsaw just saw pity on him because he got sliced up in the back. He's like, well, all you did is you just got my name wrong. That's, yeah. So apparently not only was Carl Elway the eventual successor, but apparently Logan was. Ooh, oh, by the way, Carl Elway is not even in this fucking movie. So maybe he couldn't even stand the bullshit of the stupid sequel, whatever it is. So what, here's the thing though. He's recreated these traps. And what he says is he just had three people go through the whole system. So technically, these three corpses that we're seeing, even though they look exactly like the people that we've already seen be destroyed and killed, they are not the same people from ten years ago, which I'm going to call bullshit because the fucking blonde looks exactly like the blonde that gets the, the acid in her face. And then, eh, it's just... Okay, you had it with the... the the bucket head dude, but even the black guy, the black guy looks exactly the same, jangly, all like, there is absolutely no believability into this end of this sequel. And here's the other thing too, the whole point of, like, he says, oh, I'm the true successor of, Lo of Jigsaw. He killed three people just to set up a dramatic fucking tension of bullshit. So, and on top of that, not only are we supposed to believe some bullshit with the previous people from the 10 past that also Jigsaw apparently had widescreen TVs 10 years ago, like super high quality TV television sets. And then the fucking lasers, just like, oh, like that was the thing that was great about the first movie is that they were so low key, so very simple things. Sure, they took a lot of time to set up, but any, like they were simple. Sure, the, the mouth one was kind of you know, that took some creativity of a mechanic. But, like, the room with a guy who's all, like, he's got to find a certain combination amongst all these different combinations on the wall, and he has one little lighter, and he can't drop it, otherwise he'll be set on fire because everything's in kerosene. That was one of the best ones. And then, supposedly, he goes from creating super death traps with a motorcycle that apparently can bake a fucking rebar to... Uh, the giant spinny machine of death, which is stupid. He goes from that to a simple face mask and some butter and some wires. Fuck you, movie. Fuck you. How can you even... Come on, Spree Brothers. You have to have just done this for a fucking paycheck. Because there's no way that you guys could have 
insanely looked at this and been like, yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Oh, do you remember when we did Daybreakers or Predestination? They were folly compared to this movie. Oh, I agree. They were absolutely trash compared to this masterpiece. I don't know why they did it. I hope this doesn't ruin their reputation. I really hope that they come out with something original again because I like those guys, but this movie is just fucking stupid. Do not go see it. I hope that the lack of critical reception for this piece of fucking garbage is any indication that it's literally just a cookie cutter. It is literally every single saw cliche in one fucking movie. So don't go bother and see it. It's a piece of shit. Hopefully it does not try and bring back this garbage series. Anyway, it's a one out of seven if you didn't get that. So yeah, don't go see this piece of shit. Anyways, see you guys later.